The leadership of Young People's Party has vowed to dislodge PDP in uh, the former Vice President Atiku Abubakar State constituency of Jada Amayobewa Tungu Gaye. This was made known during the party primaries in Jada, where Honorable Nuhudin Amayare marched as the party candidate for the constituencies. Meanwhile, former Deputy Governor of Adamawa State, Mohamed Sahad Taha, has emerged the governorship candidate of New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, in the state. It was elected by affirmation with voice votes as consensus candidates in the party. The last person here with me, number 15, is Ali B. Iliasu. NNPP governorship primary was rank of free in Adamawa. The Congress, attended by delegates across the 21 local governments in the state, saw the former deputy governor of the state as consensus candidate of the party for 2023 election. The chairman of the Electoral Committee, Salman Safiano Abdul Salam, said 678 delegates participated in the primaries with three drawn from each of the 226 polling units. In his remark, the candidates promised inclusive government that would transform the state. So, inshallah, we will transform Adamawa and we are tired of suffering from various governments. I'm extremely happy actually for giving another mandate by my people to serve them. I've been there and uh, all what I've done is uh, my legacy there on ground. So, for even some of my uh, delegates to give me the mandate, it's just like they have identified the driver who knows the road. Meanwhile, the Young People Party, YPP, has conducted its primaries in Jada when it produced only one House of Representatives candidate. The party is optimistic that its candidate, Nuhudin Hamayero, will dislodge former Vice President Atiku Abubakar from his Jada state constituency based on its popularity among the electorates. Youths who are the most important demography in the world now, they, they are fully going to be represented in the party. The party has given us a chance to air our views, to bring about our presence in every political setting. And I want to tell you people that we are going to bring this change. Amen. This region of my constituency, the four local governments, Mayo, Belwa, Jada, Ganyi, and Tongo, is the most blessed local government in Adamawa State. In the but but because we have left it unattended to, these regions have been underrepresented. The region has been underutilized. The, the, the favor God has given to us is agriculture. But today, even my, my friends in Ganye, with the name, the food basket of, of, of Adamawa State, the basket is empty. There is a great task ahead of the former deputy governor in the 2023 race as he faces candidates of other political parties, including incumbent governor Amadu Omaru Fintiri. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.